welcome to my insanity. So on the 16th of March 2019, which is a year ago today, I shaved my head for charity down to a number one. So a cute little pooch for us to raise money for the world's greatest shave, being for the Leukemia Foundation, being for blood cancer research and supporting those who are dealing with blood cancers majority of the time being leukemia, but also the other ones that go into it. So I thought why not do a video of me just going through what the last year has been like, going from like a cute little baldy to like a cute little curly mess. I haven't watched the head shaving video since I uploaded it so I thought we could recount like what's going on there and me react to my own video which sounds kind of dumb so it's just gonna be a lot of like me reminiscing and me just going through everything so if you are someone who is about to shave their head yeah your girl's already gone through it you're, you're gonna be fine baby cakes it's all good the sun keeps disappearing or if you are someone who has shaved their head you can sit there and be like I did that too so either way all fun all round yeah Let's keep this short, sweet. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. So, without further ado, let us just get on to the rest of the video, yeah? Yeah! Shaving my head in public. Okay. Um, okay. I haven't seen this video in like a year. So, this is gonna be super fun. I love that for me. Oh! I'm looking at the start screen, and she is. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, three, two. Hello, and welcome to my insanity, and welcome back to your favorite demented piece of fairy floss. <laughs> fairy That's pretty floss. much the most accurate description I have in my hair right now. But yeah, today I is forgot how much I. Today's the 16th of March. Today's the day that I shaved my head for the world's greatest shave. Oh, I shouldn't be wearing that shirt. I still have that shirt. Because it's me. I was originally going to do this at Penrith CBD Festival, but it is torrential rain in Sydney right now, so the festival. Got oh, I remember so that. Of doing it at the Okay, so what was originally supposed to happen, um, so my gym, UFC Penrith gym, is amazing! My personal trainer, Nathan, shout out to him, is just amazing! Like, everyone there is so, so lovely. So when I told them, like, hey, I'm shaving my head for the world's greatest shave, would you mind me putting, like, a little box on the desk? They were just like, hey, let's one-up that. We're gonna organize a cute little booth for you at this festival so that we can spray paint people's hair, we can, like, do it in public, we can get, like, some more money coming in, like, we can get some, like, just some more, like, like community in on it and I was like yeah that sounds great like I'm terrified but like that sounds great I love that and it like flooded it absolutely flooded the day that I was supposed to shave my head and this stupid festival was supposed to be on it was such torrential rain that the grounds were closed for like a month so of course the day the year that I want to do it of course the time that I wanted to and just make a big just to get more money for charity the weather's like <laughs> No. Uh, so it was actually super frustrating, but once again, the gym was super duper great. And they're like, hey, don't worry, like, you're still gonna shave your head, it's all good. Like, we'll just do it in the octagon of the gym, and whoever comes into the gym, hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll post on Facebook and stuff. So that was super duper lovely, and it wasn't as big as what we wanted it to be, but it still worked out really, really nicely. And my family came, and some of my friends came, and it was just super cute. So, either way, let's, let's keep going. Cool, we're about to do this thing. Let's go. <laughs> He was the barber from like two stores down. He was actually super sweet and like more nervous than I was, I think. There's a goblin behind my head, like I don't want to know. Goblin? Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid that there was a lump behind my head. I've been there my whole entire life, but I thought that everyone else had that lump, so I just assumed it was like part of a natural anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh gosh, like the pink was such- Brad Mondo would be so ashamed of me! I'm not gonna lie, like, you see my face right now and I'm just like, mm, 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 mm. Cause I was trying to get this like, this like, exterior of, I'm a badass bitch, like, yeah, it's just hair, this isn't gonna worry me, it grows back, like, mm, fight me. On the inside though, I'm not gonna lie, I was very much like, ah! Like, I just, internally, screaming, panicking, but I was like, well, people have already donated money. Well, we committed to this, so we're following through on it. But yeah, on the outside, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. It's just, it's just hair. We just shave it off. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm, I'm not, like, my whole beauty isn't dependent on my hair. But as soon as I had that, I was like, Aah! It's a facade, just saying. Lies. You were. You absolute liar. That was terrifying. Oh damn, that's a lot. Should have kept that. That's what I'm at at the moment. But granted, once like once it started, I did like calm down a lot. Once it started, oh no no no, that was that moment where I was just like, oh god, this is happening. Um, but yeah, once once it like once it started, 
once it like once it started once the first like bit was just kind of off i was like oh okay yeah like this is this is just what's happening like it's fine um oh the mullet yes Oh, I love that. Yeah, so once once it was kind of going, I didn't feel as nervous, but like going up to it, I was like, ha, 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 ha. It was such a good feeling though. It was such a good feeling though. I've never had hair that short. Like, unless I was born or whatever. You're not born with a full head of hair. But like, it was the best feeling. It felt awesome. Yes, it was so short. It was a number one, honey. <laughs> You did so good. Your lipstick oh, looks trash, but like, the crazy thing. like what is that thing in the corner? Oh my god. What have I just done? The eyelash isn't stuck down either. Like, um, I, I don't know. I'm like, I feel so good because like, I did it for charity. So I know that, sorry, my rabbits are down there. They're like scratching that little hot. Um, Some things like, don't I change. Feel, I did have to dye back the demented lollipop to mm. like a natural color because unfortunately Work. I don't have the like sub count or like the video count or like anything to make that YouTube dollar which like meh, whatever. But like babes, that, I have a legitimate job outside you of have school, no idea like, uni, what the next like, year is gonna be like. Literally a few like, like two weeks after, after this, you have so no like, idea what's gonna happen. And I dyed it back to like as natural. This was before and, like, TikTok. This was before like was naturally want to be for mingle. Like, so like a this is slim shady right now. <laughs> That's so crazy. I'm so shady. I'm the, I'm the, the... So there was torrential rain, which like I was a little bit gutted about. I'm not gonna lie. I was. All I could think was like, oh. that's some donations that I'm gonna be missing out yeah. on. So like, there's gonna be less donations going to people. I think that, like, overall, deserve it, genuinely need it. I think overall, I raised about twelve hundred dollars worth, uh, which in American I think would be something around eight hundred dollars. Same with euros, same with like, um, same with pounds and stuff. So I think I ended up raising around eight hundred, like with better currencies, but like twelve hundred Australian currency. Oh, this is me. This is me for like the next few months until my hair goes back. Oh, honey, That's this is you for like a year. Like, you really I overestimated. I have so much love. And appreciation for everyone that showed up yesterday and for everyone that's like I can hear in my voice and I'm trying not to tear up I'm so proud of myself maybe that's why I'm talking so slow oh my gosh okay ah all right so ah I've come so far so many different things to break down in this video um what so we just gonna close my laptop and then I'm just gonna get a little bit more personable with you guys Hello and welcome to my TED talk. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so back then, 16th of March, 2019, I had TikTok, yes, but I didn't, I wasn't like posting on it the way that I post on it now. Um, so that was even before Naturally Want to Be Flamingo, which is the video that like really popped off for me on TikTok, which is what like got me confident enough to start like doing that kind of stuff and like really harnessing that part of my personality, which like it's... I, I guess I had a lot of people in my life years ago that were just like, no, that's too weird. You're too weird. We don't like it. Be normal. And I was just like, you are, you are correct. And then I uploaded to TikTok and everyone loved it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be ashamed of this part of myself. And I stopped being ashamed of that part of myself. And now I'm where I am now. I have like 2.2, like 2.2 mil on TikTok, which is like, what? Um, I have like... I have like 50k on Instagram, which is like, what? And then I have like 160,000 of you on here, which is like, what? Literally when that video got uploaded, I had like 152 subscribers. A majority of those people I was related to or I went to school with. Right? Right. So, um, like a lot, a lot's happened since then, not just in the hairways, but like also just like my online life kind of way and just my life kind of way because I've, back then, my depression, anxiety, PTSD, like that was just like, <laughs> like I was just, I was such a ball of like panicky, freaking mess of tears. It's ridiculous. So for me to come from like that uh, to like this, where I'm sitting here being like, this is probably like the happiest I've ever been. There's just so much to unpack in that video for myself. Uh, yeah, so wild. Let's just get onto the hair talk now that I've had that little like <laughs> mind blown moment. Can I have you like a comparison of the photos of like me before I shaved my head and like me after I shaved my head so that you can compare it to like now and just see where I'm at. But yeah, this is this is what like pre-shave, shave and like a year after shaving looks like. I think it's a little bit different. Like maybe not drastically, but like this is finally healthy. My hair 
is healthy for the first time since I was seven. Like this, this is, this is, uh, let me kill all curls and stuff. So my hair before I shave, usually I would have my hair pretty short anyway, not like pixie cut short, but like just above like my shoulders, if that makes sense. And it would be longer or shorter depending on how lazy I was to get it cut. So I was used to having short hair, but when I decided pretty much like a year, a year beforehand, I think I decided like March, 2018, like next year, world's greatest shave, that's gonna be my year. 2019 is my shave year. So I decided to grow it out as much as I could. I think I got it to about here, maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit shorter, but it was pretty freaking long for me and I had to like really focus on the fact that I wasn't gonna cut it even though I hated it at that length. It was it took a lot of willpower, I'm not gonna lie. But the issue that I seemed to get a lot was comments being like, why did you cut off that much hair and not donate it? Why did you not make wigs out of that hair? The issue was, was I have straightened, curled, dyed my hair since I was seven. So that was brittle. That was, that was, you could have like come Clumps that up into a ball and use that to like scrub a pot and make it clean again. It was so dry and gross and broken. It was gro it was it was terrible. And then even when it was that damaged, I went to a hairdresser and I was like, hey, I wouldn't mind a cute little like grungy looking balayage if you get my drift. And they're like, yeah, sure, what color do you want it? And I was like, oh, I would like it to be this like kind of goldish kind of color, like this warm kind of blonde, because that's what I had when I was a baby. And I thought that was really, really cute. Took in photos for reference. Like I brought in the whole shebang so that they knew what I wanted came out white and then I went to a different hairdresser maybe a month later and they were like wow this bleach is very over processed how do you still have hair and I was like I don't know <laughs> that's terrifying <laughs> So I didn't actually donate any of the hair to be turned into wigs because it just, it was, it was going to make the worst wig ever. And I don't want to inflict that pain on anyone. I decided that I was still going to do it. I was just going to do it in the way of solidarity and just raising money and all that kind of stuff. So leading up to it, I was G'd. I was so ready. I was like, I'm going to be the cutest baldy. I'm going to buy myself some cute earrings just so that I can emphasize the fact that I'm the cutest baldy. Like I was so hyped. I was my own little one woman hype show. Like I was, I was G'd for it. But then as soon as I sat down, I was like, nah! Like I was terrified. I was terrified. I didn't. I didn't expect that because I was so confident leading up to it. I was like, mm, yes, 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 yes. So I didn't expect as soon as I sat down for me to be like, oh god, my hair is coming off. My hair is coming off. And as I said, like. I was freaking out on the inside, but I didn't want to look like I was freaking out because I didn't want to be that girl. I didn't want to be that person that's just like, my beauty is defined by my hair. Like I never thought I was until like I really got to like the shaving of it where I was like, oh God, I even thought to myself for a quick second, like, oh, I'm just not going to be as pretty. I'm not going to be as beautiful. And then later I was like, man, we dumb. That's so stupid. And that's why I'm really glad that I did this as well because I really got to break that. I really got to break that because you're not defined by your hair. Like no one's, no one's defined by the hair. It's what you have to offer, what you give to the world, what you do with just that kind of stuff. It's not, it's not this stuff that makes you beautiful. It's the, it's the inside stuff. And I think that about people all the freaking time. I see so many people with cute bald heads and I'm just like, oh, they rocking it. They look awesome. Yes, please sign me up. But as soon as it comes to myself, I'll just look at myself and just be like, um, so it's just like, why can I not apply that to myself sometimes? Like, I'll hype everyone up, but when it comes to me, it's just like, no, 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 she's a goblin in the corner, we don't like her. But that's another reason why I'm so glad that I did this and so proud of myself for doing this, because like, not only like charity, good guy, awesome, <laughs> um, but also because it pushed me so far out of my comfort zone and it really pushed me to change my way of thinking because I haven't spent the last year thinking to myself like, I am ugly. Most of the time I'm thinking to myself like, I look dope. So by me really like throwing myself like headfirst into the deep end of the pool, I, I had to, I had to change my way of thinking because I couldn't talk to myself like negatively like that for a whole entire year. So I really get, I really learned to become confident in myself without hair or with really short hair or even with my natural hair like it is now. So it really pushed me to start talking to myself more positively. It really pushed me to start like reconsidering like what I defined myself as beautiful. Like if I can look at other people with like no hair and be like, oh, you look stunning. Yeah. But not look at my, yeah, it's like, I hope that I'm getting the point across. I don't know if I am. I feel as though I'm randomly, <laughs> but went different to usual. So I shaved my hair down to a number one, which is like a good few inches that I cut off, um, shaved off. It was the best feeling. 
Like, I don't even know how to really explain the feeling. Like, if you've seen someone with, like, little to no hair and you're just, like, rub your ear. Like, it, feel, it feels so satisfying for some reason. And I had that on my head. So I could just be sitting there the whole entire time just like, yes. So it was an amazing feeling. Also, showers, so fast. Didn't have to worry about washing my hair. Like, I did still wash my hair just to, like, make sure I had a clean scalp. But it was just, like, teeniest bit of shampoo. Shh. Like teeniest bit of conditioner, shh, done. I my showers were like two minutes, like two, like washing my hair showers, two minutes, easy, done, out, bye. Getting ready was so fast. But I do think one of the most interesting things that did happen to me throughout this year is, as I said, like my social media kind of exploding a bit, which is still like the weirdest, kind, like it's mind boggling to me. Like how did I go from like 151 subs where I was just doing helium singing covers to who I am today, who is so much happier, so much, I love, I love, like making videos, editing videos, posting videos. It is literally the highlight of my day and getting to chat to you guys in the comments is the highlight of my day. It's just, it's what I look forward to and I don't, I just, it's like a series of events that just like piled up to this point and it's just like, how did I get from what to like what? No, how did I get from what? So like what and like just how did that how did how did all these dominoes like fall in exactly this order and it's just it's 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 us i don't know how to explain this without sounding so up myself and so wanky i'm just trying to explain this in a way where i just don't sound like an egg um but i just it was it was not what i expected to just me being like i'm shaving my hair for charity blah, 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 to i shaved my hair for charity and then i did a viralish tiktok video and now I have a mix of both nice people and really mean people like commenting at me. It was really, really weird. One of the most popular comments I got was just like, are you a boy or a girl? What are your pronouns? Which like, that doesn't really bother me because I, I like the fact that people are trying to be very aware of like what pronouns they are given to people and if they're given the correct ones to people. Uh, for those who are interested, I was born female, identify as female, cis female, so she, her, hers. Um, but I did have people who were really respectful about it and then I had people who were not respectful about it. So some people were just like, hi, just want to know, what are your pronouns? I'm like, oh, you all good baby case, here are my pronouns, I hope you have a great day. But then you had some people who, uh, who would just straight up, yo, this dude's ugly. And it's like, hello, sir, <laughs> who woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Um, <laughs> for me to go from a point where like, I was like, oh, my hair defines my beauty and then shave my head and then have that. And then some people like being super nice and then people being super, like I got, I got one person who legitimately was just like, oh, if I ever met them on the street, I'd stab them. And it's like, Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but homicide is not only frowned upon, but illegal in pretty much the whole world. That was just really, really weird, like a really weird contrast to what I was used to that um, I also like had to, had to, had to kind of like just be like, all right, cool. That's, that's what's going on. Sounds great. I'm so confused, but okay, well, let's just go with it. The actual regrowth of my hair. So, um, <laughs> I didn't realize my hair was this curly until very recently. So as I said before, my hair has been straightened, curled, dyed, bleached to oblivion for years. Like, I think I started dyeing my hair since I was seven. My poor mother, I had curly little ringlets, like gold, like Goldilocks. But I was a really weird kid. <laughs> Cause my, my primary school teachers would be like, oh, there's Goldilocks. And I'd be like, Goldilocks is a thief and a trespasser. She's a criminal. I don't like that. Like, you know, I wouldn't say it like that, but I had, I had the real like opinion that Goldilocks is a terrible human being and I don't want to be Goldilocks. So I asked my mom at seven because my mom used to dye her hair. Like, oh, can, can, can I dye my hair red? Mom's like, you are not dyeing your hair red. And I was like, can I dye my hair red? And she's like, no, you are, you are seven. You are not dyeing your hair red. So I did all my chores. I saved up my money. And then my mum caught me walking to the shops <laughs> to buy hair dye myself. So my poor mother was thrusted into this position of, well, she is going to do it regardless. So I may as well help her to make sure it's not messed up. 
and I don't think she really regrets it because they're always washout dyes, but I don't think she really regrets it. I hope she doesn't regret it because at the end of the day, it made me so happy. It made me so happy to just have this bright red hair. Like people will be like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Um, like your hair's so like not natural. Blah, blah. I didn't care. Like I loved it. I loved my red. I lo every now and then I'd spice it up and make it purple. Oh, but I loved it. Um, I, I much preferred it not blonde. Of course you always want what you don't have. Eventually my hair turned brown. Um, and then I was like, mm, I now want it blonde. Um, <laughs> so for most of my videos, I actually have like straightish hair because every time I would wash my hair, I would blow dry it because I was just like, yep, yeah, just tame it a little bit. Like get this stuff going. Um, so I blow dry it. So at that point I still thought it was pretty well straight because as soon as I got out of the shower, like hair dryer goes on, everything's great. And then Australia had uh, the floods. So we had fires and then we had floods. Climate change doesn't exist. Because there was so much rain outside, I was like, oh, well there's no point in blow drying it because it's just gonna get wet again. It's a lot of wasted effort. And then my hair turned into ringlets. And I realized, oh, what? So it turns out my hair is actually like pretty freaking curly. Like if you look, there is like, I still have my ringlets. Those, yeah. So I still, I still have my ringlets. Um, they're still there. They've just been hiding. Um, so I, I don't know how to look after it though, is my only issue. I just don't know how to look after it. I'm trying really hard. So because of this, and I don't want to screw my hair up this time, um, Look, I say that now, but like in six months, I'm gonna be bleaching it again. I can see it now. Um, <laughs> I just like pretty colors on my hair, mom. A uh, quick little background note. You know how um, I used to dye my hair when I was seven because you caught me walking to the shops to buy the hair dye and you're like, oh, better do it for her because she's gonna do it herself. Do you regret or like begrudge any of like helping no. me dye my hair? No. Well, there was one angry parent, but there's always one angry parent. Yeah, true, there's always one, but you, there's no regret you have for letting me no. dye my hair at seven or helping me? No. My mom's happy with the decision. Um, look how I turned out. Mental. But I'm gonna try and grow it out as healthily and as naturally as possible, so that means that I'm gonna be keeping the curls, so watch out, in most of the videos my hair is gonna be curly, or I'll have wigs over it so it's not gonna be my hair anyway. But I'm gonna have my hair curly. Um, if you do have any advice for someone with my hair curl pattern and thinness, I would really appreciate any comments in the comment section because I don't know how to look after this. I don't know how to look after this. I've never had hair like this. My mum kind of has, but she has really thick hair, so it's not the same. Um, I just, ah, I just don't want to look like a Q-tip. So I guess the only last thing to say is like, do I regret any of the experience? No. Would I do it again? Probably. Um, I would want to have my hair a lot longer first before I did it, but yes, I would definitely do it again. And I'm very happy that I did it. Uh, the regrowth has every now and then been a bit of a, bit of a, uh, because so many people are just like, your hair grows so slight. And it's like, thank you for pointing that one out. I didn't realize even though it's attached to my freaking head. Um, so, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> Like, I don't mind people making comments, but every now and then I get like 20 comments in the space of five minutes and it's like, my brain's fried. Like, it's it's the same comment. My brain's fried. Please just, please comment on something else. Comment on my weird little freckle I have on the side of my nose that looks like a booger. Please, I beg of you, comment on that. Because I do work at an RSL club and my little clientele is older. Um, I do get lots of, lots of old school kind of comments and I'll leave that at that. Um, which is always super fun. And the last thing, where am I at now? I'm... I'm pretty happy. Like, this is the closest I've ever been to happy. This is the closest that I've ever felt like to being mentally healthy, which is the wildest concept because so many people, I see so many things online of people being like, oh, ever since I like started really committing to social media, like my mental health has just declined. And then I'm just in there in the corner being like, this is the best I've ever felt in my life, Woo! That makes absolutely no sense to me. Throwing myself in the deep end has just like, it's done me such a world of good. As I said before, I'll look at so many people with cute little peach fuzz heads and I'll just be like, what? Work it, yes! Um, I'll just, I'll be their one woman hype show. I'm happy to be anyone's one woman hype show. I just, I want everyone to feel as fabulous as they are, like as they genuinely are because they deserve to know how fabulous they are. But yet when it comes to myself, most of the time I'm just like, you are a greasy little goblin, get back in your corner. <laughs> um, so I'm really glad that I've genuinely been able to be a lot kinder to myself because of this, which is once again, wild. And then for anyone who is like considering shaving their head, whether it's for charity or not, like whether it's just something that you're like, hey, I wanna see if I like this, do it.
just just do it because you would you you may be like me and you may freak out in the beginning you may be like me and you may have some days where you're just like ew but just remember ignore ignore that voice that tells you ew ignore that voice that tells you no you need help that voice because that voice is wrong that voice is completely so so incredibly incorrect just ignore it and i know it's a lot easier said than done but i promise you once you start to ignore it and you start to tell yourself how beautiful you are how amazing you are how incredible you are without hair life gets so much better like just just even if you're not gonna shave your head do that anyway go on Go into the mirror now and tell yourself all the good things about yourself. Tell yourself all the good things about yourself that you would tell other people. How you talk to other people and how you hype up other people, go into the mirror and do that for yourself right now. Right now. Right. So if you are thinking of doing it, do it. Are you gonna panic? Probably. Are you gonna have days where you're just like, ah, I want my hair back? Probably. But what you gain from that as well, I think it's worth it. For me it is, but I'm not. I'm not you. I'm not everyone. I'm just, I'm myself. And for me, great decision. Something you've got to decide for yourself. But I think I covered all the dot points. I think I covered everything that I wanted to talk about. But if I didn't, please don't hesitate to comment. I would love to answer any questions that still are lingering that I didn't answer. I do hope that you are having the most fantastic day, the most fantastic week, the most fantastic month, the most fantastic year. And I hope that you are being as fantastic as always. And I'll be seeing you next time. So look after yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Bye-bye, guys.